Will the second term for President Trump kickstart a comeback for the Keystone XL pipeline? Could big U.S. clean energy subsidies come to an end? For Canada's energy sector, there's a lot on the line. I think there are a lot of big uncertainties. There are uncertainties both on the positive side and on the negative side. While restarting Keystone may seem unlikely, though Trump was once a supporter, Alberta's government would love to see big investment in big oil return. Obviously for us, market access is one of our top issues, and so I think that that uh, could be a positive discussion that we'd want to have. While a blanket 10% tariff on oil and natural gas exports to the U.S. could be devastating to the non-renewable industry, there could be opportunity for Canadian renewables to excel. There's a real threat uh, that the Inflation Reduction Act, which is the landmark climate legislation passed uh, under the Biden administration, um, that it could potentially be repealed. Cancelling clean energy subsidies or investment in the U.S. could send those dollars north. So Canada has this ability now to take a strategic perspective if the IRA is repealed and think about where it's actually going to compete and actually steal that market share. But there are fears for Canada's energy transition. Chima Justin Ezekiel is a Calgary scientist working to develop geothermal electricity. U.S. investment in clean energy research under Joe Biden, he says, helped fuel labs worldwide. These funding helped a lot, lots of, uh, of researchers around the world to collaborate with these with, with, with institutions in, in the U.S. to push for these technologies, to push for their feasibility, to push for you know pilot tests. The future of this research now up in the air as players across Canada's energy sector look to an unpredictable incoming president to see what he'll do next. Heather Urex-West, Global News, Calgary.